chatters. Hope your day's well. How are y'all doing today? Mix up, can't stop keeping up. Turn that to the left. Hope y'all are doing well today. Hope your Monday doesn't feel exhausting. Hope your Monday, you feel perked up, ready to go. Listen, Monday is not everybody's day, you know. Monday be a day for a lot of people that they feel like they can't go to work because it's the beginning of the week. You still feel like you need an extra day off. Man, I swear, I'll tell them and I feel like even move out of my bed. Like, and I realize that even in life, there's so many things we don't feel like doing, but we cannot let feelings dictate our movements. We cannot let feelings dictate what we do. Okay? Feelings is a hell of a thing. And we all got them. They come like a fart. We all got them. And they come out ever so often. And sometimes feelings make your make you see like when you fart in your belly and you wanna come out and it feel like it's stuck. It start hurt your belly, you know. It start to make your belly hurt. But then when you release out feelings, sometimes it's a good thing. You understand? You just loosen up the goose, you understand? Jesus. Feelings has dictate so many actions out here. Feelings mash up relationship. People can't have their feelings and uh, uh, mad with you and you don't even know what they mad but they won't even tell you what they mad. Feelings ruin what could have been. Feelings ruin marriage, friendship, the relationship are with God. The feelings, God, why you tell me, mama? God, me hurt. Me never come back to church again. Jesus Christ, me never come back. I find that I hate God. Feelings is dangerous. My, my, my. Who miss the embrace their feelings without no feelings? <laughs> Queenie. <laughs> what a woman not care. Hey, me rate, me rate. Hey, me not care what nobody want to say. You know? I rate Queenie, you know, Chanel. Me not care what nobody want to say. Me not say Queenie got it right. Me not say Queenie. Mount not big and terrible. Me not say Queenie and I rather my Shadam. Queenie, not bad man, and dad man, and Everything in that book, drop it for Queenie because she that. But one thing we can't tell her the woman is sit down in our feelings without shame. Hey, me can't mad at nobody that is honest and true, you know. I cannot be upset with somebody who come expose themselves and a business. Big up Queenie, right true. And I know enough of a big woman we shouldn't have the bars like Queenie, but you don't have the bars to come talk to a young boy, do you? So me can never hate Queenie. Right now, Queenie, I talk about the, the Pum Pum picture, our video, whatever story with him, why and do, and they might circle it around, you know? And she come and talk about it, and, and people want her to feel a way about it, and she not shame. He might shame, in a one little way, because nobody now on them, 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 them picture what they have with their man, personal man, get out in the atmosphere, you know? Nobody now want their man to expose them, or the woman, or whoever you're there with. To try to you know mash up your thing like that but if you never shame about it and you ain't do it you might as well talk and say me no business because it's already out there big up yourself queenie missy 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 one same thing one video <laughs> one thing killer why may i tell her yo me say out here wicked 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 father out here it's wicked it's not safe in a safe out here my god me see the boy come Put up one pit one. <laughs> Belly bottom. Chatters come talk. They mix up this, this evening in the Monday where I drive yeah. Me see the boy put, put up one video. <laughs> I shake the baby <laughs> with pacify any hey, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Wait there, camera there. <laughs> Wait there. Oh god, belly bottom. No, sir. What a man love attention. What a man love attention. The boy have the little fake baby. I know, I know I can't have a real baby. I don't care what nobody say. That they cry, they sound artificial. That baby crying sounds artificial. When I see the boy having pacifier in his mouth and have pitney, they were, hey, hey, no, hey, the pitney well clothed and covered in there. Can't even tell say a baby, a fake baby. Why boy with kids, sir? Or maybe I'm a fool. That baby, they're not real. They cry in a sound real. 
I'm here, idiot. Is the crowd real, brother? They wonder if I me no nah, nah, see good. Whether he have pitney or not, we don't care. At the film business, cause we can't see in there in the with the whole woman and whatever. And when the girl them have to breed, me not ask, I tell me, I tell them. Woman I go breed no matter what, because woman have this thing about them. Some woman, not every woman, they think they can save the man, you know. A fake baby runner or a real baby, tell me. Type in the comment, it is a real baby, it is a fake baby. Let me know exactly what you say. You say no, I'm not sure which part you answer. Me want to know, somebody go breed because number one, like me say, there are some women out there that feels like, say, them can correct a man and them can come into the man's life and them can change the man. Let me tell you something about man. Man are wicked. Me come to realize at 34, say, man is wicked. Man, fake, okay, good. Me think, that means I was thinking the right thing. Me come to understand at 34, say, man are demons and man are wicked and me hate to know. I mean, I hate all that you know. I get me wrong, you know. I mean, I hate all. I love money, you know. I mean, I love no woman, you know. Real talk, you know. Me, ah, me and the man, they right through a friend. You understand? I mean, I want to with no girl. A man me love. Right through. I mean, I want a woman under me. I want a man. Strong back. You know? Endurance. Man will have a little bit of something to him. You understand? I mean, I pressure him with money, you know. No. Because me, we go work. And him, we go work. We will put a little bit of together. And we say, you build a little one room. We go in there, Jamaica. And we go on. And we bust down one little two. And we have a little one and two. I mean, I, I pressure a man. Because, you know, where we come from? Poor. And we know. We know you know, and everybody poor. But we kind of, we, we, we know all the things. Say. So, we know not pressure a man with money, right? We pressure a man for other things. We will. But me come to realize that 34 year old man are wicked. I don't care what nobody say. Because me a weapon of my friend. And God know. God knows that this is where I keep my friend because I want to know the tea. I mean, I want to see what I want to do. I want to pray when I want to see what I want to do. And me, that's why enough of them are going to think me, 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 me gay, you know. When I come out the first time, the whole of them are saying, I'm a raw, I'm a boy, because they think me love girl. Now worry yourself. Because you can't catch a good girl with no under and no woman frock. Remember me tell her that. I mean, I think I look at my front, much less. Hey, me always tell people, you know, me think. Hey, I'm going to go like, I'm too raw, I'm coming like a queen. I don't want to talk so much about my mom because you see me raw. I don't go around the corner, hard talk, real talk. I don't, I don't go around the corner if you talk to me, Jamaica, and them. Oh, it really go. Oh, it really go. So we know how it go. We know how it go. But man, a wicked. Man is a wicked. I'm sorry for the good one, I'm not Verna. Me, oh, majority baby, how are you? Me sorry for the good one them. But me say, man is a wicked. Me have them as friends. What if I them and me not let them go? No, I cannot let them go. Because I'm a real Jenna Jenna too. You see me? I mean, me and one of them kind of girl. That man always a come and a tell me the thing them. You see me? Hey, hey. Me a tell her the story what me care for money in my head. The story what them tell me. As a young girl, me can't remember everything. But me know I say man are wicked. And that's why me run from them like a puss. Oh, because then they're wicked so I'm gonna take a couple of them. And see what me can turn them in. A, and see what me could have, you know, take me and make fashion with them. But when me see all the man them wicked, I don't even want to look for one of them sometimes. Uh, when me take me here and look for one of them and, and, and they say, well maybe the one they could have. My mind turned against him after a while because I realized say, maybe my wicked too. We hurt. It will have hurt. And I see we hurt. <laughs> Miss Scott. Trying to big up a nice clean self, baby. Me say, God! Me say, I'm a wicked. <laughs> me not, me, hey, me, hey, 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 hey. Me not want to talk the things that me know. Me not want to talk the things that me because I'll do a hard talk. Something never feel tight out because I know nobody take it wrong. But someone who no man out there, and who no make we hate man, and who no make woman go turn gay? Somehow who no? I don't mean I want no girl still. Me not, me not even gonna lie. Sometimes in my head, me sit to myself say, how oh, people manage woman because, you know, you think about being with a woman and you're a woman. And me say to myself, say, me not even think I could have stand a girl in my face. Me a woman and me can't stand myself more while. A woman never stand out. <laughs> me can't stand myself. Trenda. Sometimes, oh, me a um, me emotional. And me a woman, and me have to go through period, and me have to go through pain, and me have to have pity, and me have to this, and me have to that. And me have to go put up with another girl in a my face. And some of them girls are wash out their front. Hey, 
I couldn't, hey, that's something that's true, hey. Me could have them, me could have them, hey. Me not think me could have happy. Me not have to, me not have to really, really, you know, close my mouth and me yai. If you see myself, go down in the front. Me not have to cut off my neck and put on another neck. If you see myself. You know, because woman is, is so unique, woman is so sensitive, and woman is to be cared for gently by a man, a masculine thing, you know? When me think about a softy, softy woman on my face and you, 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 your emotion and look at me and me and you and I go through and we are, to we are, we are, said draws and no oh, sir, no man. Me want, me want to see the man thinking dirty drawers. I that me want to see. Me no want to see no human drawers in my house. Me want to see a man dirty drawers. I, I that me want to see. Me want to smell him when he musty. Me want to smell the masculine sitting on the armpit. Me not see everything. I'm going to go night, you know. Check out. I'm going to cut the camera today. When you have a little musty, when you come out of work and you have a big boot, them and he's dirty and he's not thinking of can be a friend at work, so he's just musty. So you see me just smell him and say, Baby, you come in, are you that? Hey, he must just lick you in your top, you just want, you just want, give him a one, two, you know. <laughs> your husband smells so good when he come in because the man go out and he work all day and deal with the thing and. In come home in the night and you know most men I will take a shower anyways, you know, but sometimes before in good on in the shower, you say, baby, my good on in me. Hey! Yes, that your husband say. I will say husband, not boyfriend. Cause the boyfriend can keep up a chat, you know. A husband me say. Mm-hmm. When you say to your husband, husband, boy, I don't know you have a little bit of dust by, you know, you know, dust we give me an infection, but you know, we will take it, me have a ticket, you know. <laughs> You mean we take it if me have a ticket, you know, and just go a doctor and go or go a pharmacy to get one like a one day thing, you know. Me know you know, I mean, I'm not sensitive and thing. I'm not supposed to deal with the thing when the thing not really fresh, but you know, maybe you know, I'm here all on there, you know. So, I'm here. I'm imagining. I'm taking a million Imagination we are even know because we had you know we have good imagination. We say baby, me not lying, you know, you know, every day I come home, you know, and you know, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Me know you're ripe like that. Yeah, to me too, you know, you're not ripe, you know, you're ripe and everything, but you know, um, take a you know, just pluck off a little pe <laughs> piece of it and give me you no, know, you know, I yeah, I'm just jumping and shower together, you know, you know, yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Uh, when you take off in clothes, husband, husband, not boyfriend. Ah, oh God. And the water does a drip down by your back. And your backside. Husband, husband. Come to husband. Oh, yeah, go on. So, not fiance, not boyfriend. Husband. Mm -hmm. The yeah, water drip down by your... And you just, you just, you know, as a woman, you just turn all your back, you know, and you can see the body figure. <laughs> hey, what particular? No, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah, I say, husband, you know, you can knock it a couple times, you know. I know you're tired, you know, but... You know, and you just deal with the thing. You might get a little showers and and you come out of showers and you might say, I want to give my back rub because the man might complain, come home and complain, say, I didn't foot at him. I didn't back at him. And you just say, baby, all right, go go get the shower. But you know, say, more while too, you know. You massage the man and thing. And you try to give the man an hour, but within 20 minutes, 15 minutes, the man will like, grab you and a, D with the thing. Hey, Mrs. Yo, may I tell us it? Yes, when you have husband and your husband know if he saw it, you. Hey, man can't sweet, you know, man. Man can't sweet. That's why I say, I know people love women. I mean, say people that love women for different reasons. Different reasons draw woman to woman. I me me, me know enough woman who go to woman because things happen to them. But you see, when a woman get a real man in her life, no matter what she go through, you see, she get a real man, a real man can correct things for her. <laughs> The woman can come in and make sure you have trust again in a man. Because some women lose trust. Like me, me and one of the women, for example, me lose trust in a man. Me not go lie. You. Me lose trust in a whole heap of man. Me not go blame every man for what another man do. Me not going to do that because it's not fair for me to do that. But it not going to make no sense, Jennifer. It not going to make no sense. Me do that. But at the same time, me not forget what man do me. And me not forget. The amount of days, man, we say they love you. 
And when they turn on, I'm a woman, they have fire. Me not go forget. When man, 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 go on, you spend your life with man and years with man. A man turn on. God, some of you turn on. A man, I left if you want another girl. And when, hey, let me tell you, man, can we kid? Man, that's it, and I lie and say, you know, I know that girl, you know. And when you look now, a girl him have power, you wickedly. And wickedly, and then when you go down, not you know, in God with other girl. And when you turn around now, you know, the man all come back and try to look you. Hey, me say, man is a wicked. You hear what me I say? Man is wicked. Abdul, how are you? Man is wicked. And then all I know me I try to bring down, you know. But the one them what wicked, you know, on yourself. Uno put woman through hell and powder out. Oh, Some uno, uno, uno make woman suffer so bad. Woman a run to woman right now. Woman don't even want to be with man because they're so scared and traumatized. Some woman are so traumatized, you know. Some women are so traumatized by what men do to them, from the cheating to the lying to the beating. I'm good, honey. Miss Brown, how are you? How are you, Kishana? Me say, from the beating, to the lying, to the manipulation, some of them so narcissistic, some of them, when me say, oh God, then we are come to church with you. Then we are come to church with you. To get you in a them raps. I saw them wicked, and they try to get you out of God's hand. And they try, I know, you know, some of we, you go fraternize with the boy, because you say, maybe your husband, this, you know, buy pussy in a bag. Rodham, not Why me say sometime goody. You say, God, me I step over to the side and say me now buy the pussy in a bag. You understand? Yeah, and you go sin against your God. Mm -hmm. For them. And before you know it, if I mash up all your relationship with God and then you and him mash up. Whoa, yeah, we can't bother. At them, they sing the catch woman sometime. But you say woman, wicked dada. But woman is wicked too. Woman is, let me tell you something about woman. If women want to be wicked, they can be because I tell you, women are the most slick, slick people upon God land. Because I tell you something about me. <laughs> I don't use nobody's story, you know. I use mine. Me not have to lie. Me, me, because me know what if I me have, I've told lies. You understand? I don't have to tell another woman's story. I can tell mine. If I wanted to be a slick, a slick like a snake, me know if you do it. I mean, I'm gonna get catch. Cause men just feel like they're, you know, men just feel like they're more slicker than us, you know, you know, mama. Yes, baby. Thank you for sharing, Trenda. Me say, they, they, they think that they slicker than us, but in all reality, the woman is always smarter than a lot of you men out there. If the woman just don't want to be like you, she knows she's not like you. She wants love. She wants to work it out. She will endure certain things for a certain amount of time. But once that woman open up her legs and her heart to another man, it's done for you. Hmm. Because women are more emotional. So you see, if you allow that woman to step out the door with another man that pleases her, and her heart turns against you, And this so I went I went in there I was still with you. Once you get that woman to endure with you that long, and she put up and put out and put up and put out. Yeah, baby. Me say I want my friend give me now. I want my friend give me. Me say me take it from and put it on my fridge top. Me say once you allow this woman to do this thing, and she open her mind to another man, she not let go. Oh, me not let go. Me nah let go, a cartel say. Me nah let go. And then you want beat the woman in her head. A 15 year, you're a new man there. And you're a gear born from what you kill, Philo. No, Philo come back and kill what you're still a gear born. And the woman one time come up and say, she okay, your, your friend. And I'm a tough fact, your friend. Because you wanna look her friend them. Now, but that feast of shinai way no. So now when she crook you and hook you and duck you. She go duck your good. Because no, she not duck you with the stranger, you know. She might duck you with the friend. I mean, I wrong her. Because all the idea can put her through. All the reason you never grind for her friend. And because her friend deny you. So you see, when she hook you upon the friend, who you fit, 
who you feel? Hey, Mr. Man, I'm wicked, you know, man, because them bitch when woman step out and woman do certain things. No. Woman usually, and I'm not saying every woman, because some women are just wicked, period. But normal woman that loves men, that loves what they do, love who they are, what they bring to the table, they will endure a timing with a man. First, before she decides, you have to really, re if she's a good woman, you have to really do her wrong. Because some good woman, even though you do them wrong, they now going to call down to your level. But I'm going to tell you something about me. I'm not saying, I'm not going to call now, you know. I lie, me I tell you. God, you know what I lie, me I tell you. You know what I tell you. God, I'm not lying now. I tell the truth. Mm -hmm. You see, sometimes me, tell how me stand sometimes. Sometimes I'm terrible. Me, I endure with the type of woman, you know. If you sit down, you know. Will you see me? Hey, hey. You see when I step out? Me, I, hey. Hey, let me tell you something. And a good thing for talk. But I just the truth. Hard talk, we will talk. Me say, me, I endure in talk. I come from the people, them, why I endure everything. God know. Me look at my mother and say, what, what is this? Me not do it. Mm -hmm. So me endure and me say, all right, you know, you need to be a good wife, you need to be a good girlfriend, you know. Endure with him, man. Right? Endure with him, man. Yeah, man. Endure with him, man. And she will keep, you know. Me, 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 me. And me say, yeah, man, me go hold on. Oh, me in the tears, me go hold on. And me go make it work. And I me and him alone. And me had the two pick me there, man. Lord. What? I say, that is why I'm, hey, me now say that's why I'm not picking you know. Where's when I pick me by them? At the time that things get rough. Things get rough when you have picked me by them. Mm hmm Can't have to see them face for the rest of your life. I wouldn't have none of that. But you see me endure with you. And you make me step one time. Just make me step one time. Can me vengeful, you know, if me if me want to be, you know. And a good and a good thing. God said vengeance is his. Or me they tell about the flesh. I tell us I avenge people many different days in our life. Mm hmm. And that's the truth. And that's because. And because them do me something. And I hurt. And I do back things. I'm not, say, I'm not saying it's right. No. I'm never going to acknowledge that it's right. No. You're not right. You're wrong. But it's the truth. I me, me avenge them. Me avenge myself. And what them do to me. And it's still not work, right? But I just so we feel when the time come and you're hurt. You will just go do things. Even though you might not love that person there. That the person there. You might love the one where you go left, you know. Because most time you love them. But them do you so bad. Them do you so bad. You see? You see, trainer? Them do you so bad in a life. Oh, that are the other one. Okay. Them do you so bad in a life that you don't even feel bad. The only bad me feel, I'm going to tell you the truth with man. I only the God bad. I only feel bad so I sin against God. Nothing else. I said to myself the idea, say, no mercy for the boy of them. I don't know if a good thing. No mercy for the boy of them. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, I so said that's not all good. I mean, just I tell you how me feel. No mercy for the boy of them. After what me go through with man in the last few years of my life, hey, me look, me say, God, no, sir. How are how this? No mercy for the man, them. This is why me and one of them girls ever get a post man and all that fart. I mean, I know that. Post what? I mean, I don't know my husband. Post what? And your man can't date and your man left and your supporter them get used to man and they see man and then your man left now you have come tell supporter say your man left hey hey no darling no baby if it not in the stone you understand oh too much people trying how much page I have so me not have no brother I don't have brothers. I only have sisters. I'm my brother. No, I'm my big sister because she used to kick them people, you know. <laughs> Remember one time, my big sister come a different way. Uh, Hara, what they call it back in the day? Uh, Aya Karachi! Aya Karachi! One, one girl in a one garbage bin to rot it. My sister get up and... You know, like a real Karachi, you know, get up and jump up and rot! 
kick one girl in a garbage. Me say to myself, say, no, sir. No, baba. Eh, eh. No, me there. You know, you, you have had the whole of sister fight for me. But, you know, me not really fight. Growing up, you know, I'm not, type, I'm not violent. I, I tell people I can be, but I'm not violent. I don't make trouble. Honestly, my mouth is big enough. If me want to argue, me we argue with you. Me tell you, me not going to tell nobody, so me not going to argue with you. God, not me not get delivered from that yet. I'm going to tell the truth that. Me not going to lie to you about that. Mm -hmm, me argue with you. Mm -hmm. I tell the truth. Me, I will argue. Me not have no brother. No, so we I say, so we I say, what me talk like that. Me just tell you, I go, me, if me will have brother, it not make a difference. Me, like I said, it's not every man I am going to blame for that. Absolutely not. So what, what if I had brothers and them are went drunk or two, it would have go for them. But if them are went good man, them X out of it because it's not every man that's like that. And I made that very clear and it's not every woman that's like that. But we are talking about the one them that brings us to a place where you might eventually regret what you do. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes you're innocent and you decide to do certain things. You understand? Sometimes you're innocent. I mean, I'm not going to lie. There's so many ways I think about life where me so innocent and nice towards somebody and they treat them good and I do the right thing and then do me so bad. I mean, me was so shocked at what they do to me. I couldn't even believe it. I was like, what did I do? Like, what did I do wrong? Is there something I did wrong? Tell me what I did wrong. You know, but sometimes they don't have anything to tell you because you didn't do anything wrong. Because they're just being a man. They'll just discard you like nothing, lie to you like nothing, because they have ten women, and sometimes they lie and say they don't. And that's my problem is, if you have woman, you need to tell the woman them say you is a cheating type of man. Make the woman them know straight up say, yo, me not a circle with you. Me just out here to get a little ram dam sham. Let that woman be able to make a decision if she want to be involved with you. Don't pretend like you want to, oh, be with her. And you know you don't. Stop manipulating and lying to women. Vice versa. Stop manipulating and lying to a man. If you met a good man because some of you wicked demons women out there. Some of you woman, you're a devil. You're a devil. You met a great man. The man of money, the man of stability, the man of a job. The man of no pitney. And you get up because the man is not aggressive. He's not boxing you in the face. He's not spitting in your mouth. You're, 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 you're so used to an aggressive man that when a gentleman come around, you, don't, you, you discard him like a garbage. Some of you women do that. So you're no different. But like I said, this is for people that is not necessarily like that. And sometimes you're not even like that, but you become like that because something what you go through are some things with a S because most time I don't know one time it takes to make you stay so. That is why women won't put their guard down for men like that anymore. And men are really misinterpreting what women are feeling or what women are presenting because they will say a woman is trying to wear pants. No. Sometimes a woman needs a man to simply listen to her, hear where she's coming from, hear what caused her pain. And a lot of you women, I understand, you know, the fact that you're hurt, but you keep putting that hurt on the next partner you have and it is wrong for you to do. Sometimes you have to deal with your emotion and the pain before you take up another man because a decent man will not stand for that dirty, nasty, masculine attitude you have that you don't know to control. Let me tell you something. I tell people all the time, I'm very masculine when I need to be. But I always tell you guys, I was grown in a <laughs> very principal home. And when I tell people all this, they might not believe me. But I tell people, you might see me a guan. Because in my daily life, I have to be a leader. I have to be a boss. I have to do just daily life out outside of my house. But when I come to my house at night, if I have a husband here, I am a submissive. They don't believe that, would they? People don't believe that when I say that. I love to be a submissive. I love to play the role of a wife. I like cooking. I like cleaning. I like jumping on it. When we're ready. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like these things. But I want a partner that come alongside me that I will not be the only one doing these things. Because it's not about 50-50 or none of that. You don't even have to view it in that mindset. It's about a team. This is your partner, your life partner, not somebody randomly. This is also supposed to be your friend. Will you not be loyal to the person in your house that you can share your deepest, darkest secrets with? You don't, you don't, 
You don't just marry and be with somebody that's not your friend. You need to marry a man that's actually your friend. Because there are some days, some days in life that you're going to need a friend. And you should be able to find that in your husband or your wife. The person you can trust with your most vulnerable moments. And women are tired of having husbands and partners that are not listening to them. Women are tired of having a partner that does not validate her complaints and validate her pain. She's sick and tired of that. That is why a lot of women are aggressive. And a lot of you, when you wrong her, vice versa, you don't acknowledge your role in this. You, you, you want to acknowledge and give a half as a, you know, type of apology. When the woman is so hurt, you ought to acknowledge fully. Without excuse, what you have done to her. Some of you go halfway. This is why she still resents you till today. Shinaman. Woman will resent a man till this day. And vice versa for the man. A lot of you women, you have lost your savor in your relationship. The man does everything. So you feel that you no longer have to do. Man got to take care of me. He's got to take care of me. That's what a real man does. That's what a real man does. He going to take care of me. Yeah, my husband going to do for me. He going to pay these bills. But wait a minute. Your husband got sick. And you was too busy on the phone with your friends to minister to that man. He's been stressed out for a whole week. But when he come through that house, you don't even greet that man with a kiss. And you don't even sit down in a conversation to ask that man what's been going on. That man now think that he needs to go call on a side chick. Because that side chick may have been not giving him good sex as he give you. As she give, you know, you give him. But that side chick showing sure up opened her ears to listen to that man vent. Wait a minute. Oh. Everybody get licked down over here, woman and man, boy and girl, and save and save. I don't care. Because the whole of you have the things them to talk. You're not doing your role, but you want to complain to that man. He come home to a dirty house and you don't work. Make it make sense. He come home to a dirty laundry every day and dishes in sink. And you are not working, yet he's paying all the bills. Hello? When you met him in the beginning, you used to ensure for the things, but because 20 years now, you feel like your husband know what you bring to the table, so you used to do them something back in the day and you stopped doing it. No, you don't stop being that woman for your man. You don't stop being that man for your woman. That is why you need to take your wife out on beautiful dates. As a matter of fact, go a little bit extra. Order your woman something. Go look in that closed drawer Order your woman something sexy and tell her, baby, I got somewhere to go. I want you to put this on. Send her to the nail shop to get her nails did. Let that woman feel like she's a girl, a woman. Some of you, she's just bending over all day like a slave for you. And you don't do nothing for her but beat her back in at night. Come on now. Beating the back in is okay, but that is only a small percent of the relationship. When she's sick in her vagina or her womb, maybe she got fibro fibroids issue down there. Are you going to be able to endure with her through that time of bleeding if she's having a bleeding spell? Oh, because some of you, you don't know nothing about a real relationship. You only want something that look perfect. Cut it out. Real woman need real man. So when we see the garbage, we don't even want to spawn it and taste it no more. We say when we see garbage, we don't want even kiss kiss it no more back when we are when we young. We never want to give no like a one beat and go through. No! We tired of it. We don't want to do it. Because we look upon you afar off. Number one, you that you have on a writing clothes, and everywhere you go, you don't know if you present yourself as nothing. And uh, every day you know they could dirty clothes them. Listen to me, you can't dirty when you're at work. You can't dirty when you come home from work. But mighty God, you have to dirty when you got church, you have to dirty when you got store, you have to dirty when you go on date. Present yourself like a man. Vice versa, woman. It's not every day you're gonna have that bingo bag on. Someday you're gonna walk in that house, and baby, you're gonna crawl. Hey, I'm gonna go down in you know. Some day that I go walk in the house, I just walk past him. And I look a skimpy thing and I just like, Yeah, go on, I cannot pay no attention anymore, but I just walk past him. Because the last two days I've been going back away, have on. 
I mean, I say nothing wrong with bingo bag because we as women know when the bingo bag, the bingo bag them come in handy and when a time a month and all these things and a different time and so. But me I say, with balance do we live together? With balance, we pre with self and say, mighty God, I like me name cook this so we can. My husband must have wonder. Come back, rally back around and say, yes, anything you want specific, but uh, maybe in a cooker. Because some women are not cookers. They, ne they was not taught how to cook. And their husband are the cook. I met those type of relationship with people. The husband is the main one cooking. The wife play a different role because she might not be a main cook. All right. And it worked for them. Okay, fine. But as a woman, I would try to learn from my husband while he's cooking. I would be around watching him and be like, babe, you know, I would like to learn how to cook that, you know. So I want in the kitchen with him to support him. All right. Am I doing thing? May I wash plate? Am I doing thing? All right. Me find something else that the kitchen do. We have to show interest to one another, man. We stopped caring a long time ago, and I just feel like because so many things are open now, so many ways for you to get involved with people and do all kind of something, it's a big thing now. So woman and man, I feel like they have to try anymore for each other. But I'm here to remind you, you should try for each other. Sometimes your relationship get dead out. If you're going to be with somebody for 30, 40 years, sometimes you might get tired of them. But not because you get tired of people, that doesn't mean say you give up. That means you need to spice the relationship. You need to date back each other. Fall back in love as to why you loved your wife in the beginning, as to why you loved your husband in the beginning. Sometimes some man can put it through some things, you know, and you no longer is in love with them. And you no longer want to, you know, proceed with the relationship. And some of you don't know how to tell the man, if you're not going away, if you're not going anywhere, baby, why are you sitting there? You chat with the man with all your friends, you can't stand the man. You hate all the man. Vice versa, someone who hates on the wife. Because you won't forgive. Number one, someone who have some resentment, want to carry from 15, 10, 15, 5 years, 6 years ago, all the umpteen years ago, and you have not forgiven your, your spouse. And you know that is what's causing the tension now. And I know what happened recently. It is not something that happened recently. Some of the offenses happened years ago with your mother while they done gone. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Some of these offenses are not recent. And like I said, something happened. No. You had to carry the resentment from the time when she allow her mother to come talk to you like a dog. And you have the man of the... Oh, hey, now I'm good on the night, you know. Because when man feel like some man get disrespecting them own house and they supposed to be a leader, some of the woman need to stop it. And some of the man, how dare you carry your mother around for come run stove in a house when your wife is there. Your wife is the head of that house. Your mother should not and shall not and will not come in that house like she is the woman of that house. Know yourself. Some of too terrible. Only not a principle. Me now say, mommy can't come in and deal with the thing. Mommy can't come right through, but mommy if you know her place. And if we know some mommy I come to come cook, we start preparing the thing for mommy them come cook. Because mommy, mommy I come often, and I once or twice a year, me give it to mommy, guess what? Mommy I come deal with the stove. No problem. But some of the mommy, when they come up to the yard, they start diss the wife. Drunk her spirit. When they start diss the wife, and I step on the wife too. And you still attack to the ex-woman as a mother. And your pitney, your son, move on long time. And you still a keep forth and gossip with sweet girl while your husband, while your pitney were in there with long time. Listen to me. Now I'm good on you know, some of the pain woman have to endure when it comes to family. And those things cut a woman deep to the point where she don't want the marriage again, brother. To the point where she did in the bed with you and now she want to do a take one high and put and bust up all your head. Look how do we do Queenie. You think that you don't wonder why Queenie did the ball like a dog pandy. You know that it's in a cut queenie. Regardless of how, of how she, she, she come off. You know how that thing cut a woman? For a man a blatantly a play in your face. And they do it publicly and a care. And your name wife. And then the mama. They come at Hey, let me tell you something. Woman go through a leap. I mean, I think man get the, man get the short end of the stick like how woman get the short end of the stick. Man can do things and woman forgive them and people forgive them. The whole world forgive them. And, oh, man, you know. It might just man, you know, the intern already. You know, but if a woman do it, she had the whore, she had everything, she had devil, she had demon, she had this, she had this, she had mash up her front and this, everything under her. Don't play the game that you don't want nobody to play with you. Me always tell people, me tell man all the time, me say, if you think you can play more than me, start playing with me now. Me show you how playing go. Because me suck, hey, hey, no mercy for them. What are their friends? 
Me keep burn them like a fire. You see what we think about writing our heart? Oh, we're not supposed to take it up because it is supposed to be for God. Vengeance is God's, not ours. Because when we think about the anger and the pain, you say, take the friend. Yeah, you say to them, take the friend because that we hurt them more. Take the friend. Take all the brother. Now you imagine taking the brother of the friend and how that would have cut them. But then never anything say when they when they look your friend, how that would have cut you. And that me I try to say, fear is fear. Fear is fear. You understand? And when they start this year, and you think about dignity and I try to keep your dignity. Dignity where? Sometimes you know I try to keep the dignity because the boy ain't dignified with you and the girl ain't dignified with you. So you assure them, say, you can be undignified too. You want dignity? You want which one be dignified or undignified? Which one you want? Anything you want. Dignify or undignified? Which one you want? Because when they start playing the undignified game, you know, and you rat, you just rat them, not to them back with it, you know. Oh, they want to cry. They want to cry. We don't want to get mad. Why you mad? I'm just doing what you're doing. Why we don't be upset? Don't be mad, baby. I love you. I just, you know, the game where you're playing, I'm playing with you. You don't like it. You don't like it? Oh, well. Now you know how me feel. Now you understand how I felt. And it's not easy for a woman to not do something back. But most women don't. That's the thing about it. Even when they hurt, a lot of women still don't cover themselves down to the man levels. And sometimes we want to. Sometimes we have. Because anybody who I reach certain age, you know, you can't tell me, say, you haven't done anything, you know. If you come tell me that, I'm going to look at you and tell you, say, it's a liar. Because some of we have done ruthless things. And only God alone know. And when him forgive you, it is gone. Not to be remembered anymore. So you know, if you live your life in a guilt and shame, but you're looking at your heart and observe what draw your death. So, because most people, it is pain that draws them to do wrong, even against God. Pain. So that's why God wants to dwell in our heart. So he can deal with the, the root. Because some of the pain we feel, it comes from things long ago that we think we let go, we think we overcome, we think this, we think that, and we don't. We don't overcome it. And sometimes we won't have the hard thought. This is why I created this channel. It's especially for my cultured people that we can have conversations unfiltered. Conversations that are true and genuine. And conversations, I mean, I feel like nobody has to tap the truth. You know, I know we got to filter some of the language that we speak, you know, and everything. And I'm not out here looking for money, so I'm mean, not monetize this page or not like that. So we are talk. Yeah, and that's how we just want to talk freely. And I tell people, you're always free to share your experience with me. You're always free to be interviewed on the, on the platform. Because I want to talk the story, they want to hurt them, but they go through what they've been through. And you don't have to show your face, you don't have to tell, call no name. You just tell your testimony. Tell what you've been through. Tell if the marriage mash up, where you go through with your husband, or if you're recovered. Most of all, I love when people talk about where they've been and that the person them stay together after everything they've been through. After everything what the man do, how you do the man. On a, on a come to a place where now you, you put aside the garbage and you actually come and unify. I love those testimonies too. Mirati, some woman can't go tell her their husband did them bad. And them still there with the man. Because eventually the man stopped doing what I'm do. But it's not every woman that will endure this. I mean, I'm not even like say me, I'm one of them will be endure it, you know. There's certain things I will endure. But it's going to take, when I look at myself now and what I've become, I say it's going to take a lot for my guards to go down with a man. And because it's, a, it's for a sense of protection for me, I'm open to people, but with limits and with limitation, right? I'm open to dating a man, but I am not open to everything about that. Because from the moment me see certain things, me already know. True experience, me already know what they come. Some man you meet them after rip and you know, brother. So me not even want to go down. Me not even go bother call back. I me not go text back. I me not go. When me see a man I push up under me and thing and, and I push up and I try hang out and I try this. And, and me I say, yo, you know, me pre something with some man. And me I say, brother, you want to come deal with my thing like me as a waste girl. 
And when I look at your thing and how you talk in a conversation, you're weak in your communication skills. One to kill her. That means when I have an argument with the man, the man never even want. Bro, in particular, this can't work for me. I right, me go out and the man not here, not, not even, the man not came upon date, but the man not even sought up himself and the man not even push out the best of himself. So if you do this now in the beginning, what do happen now in a marriage where marriage is a big dog and big league? Yo, I can't tell you. Yo, I start pre the thing, brother. <coughs> when me start pre that, I say, Father God, let me just pause this right there so now, you know. And then the next thing too, if you go sneak one little piece of sin thing, and you come to realize, man want this sin thing so much, but them now want commitment. Wait a minute there. I waste a time this. Oh, I waste a time. So now you want, you want to cheer up my thing and make my thing not tight and right for my husband. You want to take it. He want to get it. He want to walla night like the Nile River. He want he want laba juice me and daba and zaba juice me and all this juicing. But me pray. Me not see no motive to settle down. Me not see no motive to be a real man to the general. Wait, they are joking this man. That's what that too. That's what that too. When me look another one now, me say God, this one you know no job, no no care, no no shoot, no no. Wait, the lot of his marriage. Eh? You start thinking about everything. Everything in a one no head, head a boss up. You start mad out. Why? Ah! Jesus, why? Why? You start mad out. Can you say, Peter, Paul, John, Saul, Roy, Doy, Sai, every, everything out there. It's like, wait there. Let me see about myself because me now say me a hope and me a ten and me a, you know, but what me I say is, Jamaican style. Me come with a little something, something. You know, if you have something, something too, me come with a little something, something. You know, me now come come, me say a big chef, you know, you know, me dashy vice. <laughs> but me can lick down two pot pan stove, two dochi, and say, Radam, eat this and go through. Mm -hmm. Can, you know, we come in, you know, me now go be out of a job, so me go bring you a little money, and, you know, we we not, we not, we not go sit on my yard and I expect you to mind me and I pressure you for, for Gucci and Pucci purse. You understand? Me, me, me not want any girl that will go demand. You see, because I bring certain levels of originality to the thing. And I give mercy. And I give a little blight. Because I not tell us you have to rich. And I not pressure you. And I know me, I not do it. So when me pray now, you have to give me same thing. More me tell you the next thing now too. Mighty God, you're in your church. And you serve your God, and you know, sir, the only thing make you even go faithful to man. Because if I never got on God, wasn't real. I take 10 man right now, take every dollar what they have. Yeah. Because of the world we are living in now. They might play me, may I play them too. Come and do it now. Yeah. Sometimes I just dot the flesh, I tell you. But we don't have to play them the type of game because we know the truth. Playing those games is not going to get you anywhere. But you're in your church now. I you meet man when I even care about God. Nice at everything. Look like you have this and if and if you have right and if communication might not be bad. And he might put on him clothes nice and he look attractive. You say, yeah, this kinda look good and thing. But when you look around, the man is an atheist. One to kill her. When you look around the man, not even one step for God one one time. When you look, at the said man dry out to your God. So you tell me now, what is the sense of a man if he cannot love God like you love God? You're never going to be happy with a man. If he's a God, if he's a person who's truly in your heart, whether you're a Christian or not, in a matter if you're a Christian, because there's a lot of unsaved people that the whole land in God. Then just need to take the next step to go further with God. No people now want no man or no woman wanna believe God because you go have a contention in the relationship. One believing in the Buddha. One believe in the shoulda. One believe in Jesus. One believe in a easy. One believe in this. A problem in the house. So you want like-mindedness. You'll want to be somewhat morally similar. You understand? You want to be somewhat sharing the same values. So when you have your babies, they're not confused. One a Muslim and one a Christian. It don't make no sense. 
I mean, I say it not happen because there are some people that live their life and they work out, they do their own thing. They have their own belief and they work it their own way. But if you are talking about serious walk with God and serious religious um steps in your life where your where your value, where you live by certain religious code where you live by, it's gonna be very hard to be with somebody. And after a while, before you know it, they're going to convince you out of your God. I see it multiple times. Because you want to please your husband, you want to please your wife, and they might complain every day you get up that church. They might complain, say, I do say, I come, and you want, and they may marry. So before you know it, you drop off all your faith for them to box And before you know it, five years later, they marriage mash up. God of God. I'm telling you something right now. God of God. And anything what God is doing, I don't care how you nice. Some of you have some man there, then take care of everything, but the man drag you out of God. So what me want to know, sister and brother, is that when you reach the pearly gates, I the pearly gates I go through the hell door. Because the last thing I know, you know, anybody we put before God, you know, God not allow it, you know. Oh. Because if a man take put before God, you can't go tell God, say, because a husband, you never go to church, you know. And you, know, and you never give your life to him, you know. Some of you stuck on church attendance. But people who love God, take up them backside and go to church. You can't tell me nothing, you know. Your foot broke. Your foot broke. You can't tell me nothing. You're married to your man. You come home at night time to your man. You cook for your man. You clean for your man. You juke it down for your man. You got a victory seeker for your man. You have a good idea Jamaica go mind all your man. Your man mother. Your man sister. And the only reason you do it is because of your man. So what, what, what the difference with God? When we in an intimate relationship with God. And we not talk about sex. Because the most intimate relationship you can have is with God. Because he sees the most vulnerable things your own husband and wife don't see. Because you can go to your husband and go to your wife and lie to them. Some people cry tears and tell lie through the, through, through the tears them. So when you walk with God, how is it you're not going to make a movement towards God? You're not going to pray. You're not going to church. You're not going to do nothing. You're a liar. You're one of them lying people there. You can't fool God. Whether you're perfect or not perfect, nobody now walk perfect. But those who honor God are going to make the moves. Because of the love in your heart. You're not fueled by religion. You're not fueled by church attendance. You're not fueled by these things. What you're actually fueled by each other is love. And I become me one get up every Sunday and go to church. Sometimes like this Sunday, I say to myself, say, you know me not go to church this Sunday. Me not go to church this Sunday. Me I take a little break. Cause me get the, me get this call from the end of the week. And me I say, no man, me head all out. Me, me feel like me get one little flu. All this morning, me say me never go go work this morning. Cause me say, Lord, me feel like me get one little sickness. But then me rally around and say, wait there. If you're not, church are only two hours. And not even much. God not beg you nothing. Two hours. You got to work few much hours. We are past two. Sometimes you day I work all, all day. Till night all I come down. Past night time you day I work. How much hour? And you can't get up. Sunday morning. The holy man you have to wash clothes. The holy man you have to cook rice and peas. The holy man you have to do nothing for you. Hey, you're a wicked. That may I come to tell you. Big wicked. Big wicked against the, against the general up there, so. Big wicked against the king. I don't care what you want to say. Whether you are unsaved or not. Big wickedness. Because I believe in a fairness. You understand? You might not walk hundred because look at me. You think everything in my life hundred. You think I'm without sin? You think I'm without sin? I cannot cast any stone at nobody. Cause I have to cast the stones at myself. And somebody come up on social media and bring them people. Because at the end of the day, we all got sins that God has to cast out of So how you don't get up God work every day? And you go for 8 hours and 16 hours. And some of you don't walk like a dog. 24 hours you do your work. Because you're hustling. You're packing the barrel and you go to Jamaica. You need the big money. Talk the truth, no man. December soon reach. I know where you're going. I know where you're going. I know where you're going. For people, I know. With family, I know. So if you have plan for God, yeah, no, you're the bust on hours right now. I'm 25 hours, you're the work on. I'm 24 hours on the day. You work 26 hours. I'm 30 hours. It come like a one day, you work it. Because you're not even care because you're a hustler. And you're a dear thing. You see me? So when I say, when I'm looking at myself as a person, I'm say, Annie, you do all kind of something. You make all kind of wheel spin. You, 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 you sacrifice the people. You go, uh, you not get money, but there are people here that help them. You not get money. You not, hey! You do all kind of bunga, shunga, and dunga. And you spend hours and do it. Why me don't get up on Sunday and deliberately say me not go to church? Me have to sick like a dog. Me have to sick like dog. And when me think now to myself, me bring my little blind friend down there too. When you know me can't go to church now. A man ain't nobody to can't go to church all these years. Nobody dedicated to, to bring in the house of God. The man who give life to God can't go. Come on now. So now when you look, people depend upon you for God too. 
And I said, mighty God, you know, God, me not, me not, you know, two hours. I me stop, I me stop. Shut up, girl. Get up. Come out of the bed. Tap it, man. Stop it, man. You get up, if you're sick, you're gonna tap it. If you start, box myself and I start, check myself and I say, yo, this is not right. So I use true relationship and conviction for myself. Where me move. And I become me always feel like it. I tell the God truth. Sometimes I do a church and I feel, I just say, maybe do a church and I feel, I feel away. Like me out of it. One of my sister call me and say, Annie, you all right? I say, yeah, man, I'm a good man. Oh, because she said, oh, because you were so silent today. I wonder if you was okay. Checking on me to see if I'm okay. Thank God for my sister checking on me, right? Me all right. But me never feel a hundred. You understand? I may have a right to stay in my yard if I not feel hundred. And like I said, I may I walk with French church. No, but the fact is this. Me, me was well enough for, for, for make the move. And like I said, they are dead. And me so dead, dead, dead. Me say, well, if me get up now. I may go to church and I feel better. I tell you funny thing about it. If me sit in the house, me that way sick out. Because they will know if you catch you. But when me get up, God, the house of God, I felt better. In my head, me never had a headache, me feel better, rare, rare, me congested, but me never feel sick like I'm feeling in the morning. So sometimes people, when you're dedicated to people, you make a dedicated thing to God. That's why sometimes you go to church, you start doing something in the house of God, just to keep you moving, keep you going. You might not perfect yet, you might not the way you want yet, but put your hand to the plow and same thing. It's when you depend upon you for sitting, it make you start, get it right, it make you start. Say, all right, now people that need me and also we need to. And before you know it, that help you and your salvation too. Hello? All things work together for the good. Everything. God, yeah, you know, smell it, them nice. Mm -mm. Oh, sir. Could I poke your lip and give me a kiss? Your lip look kissable, you know? No, sir. Mm -mm. Mighty God. Wait there. Mm. <laughs> no, sir. Mm -mm. Some girl I get injection and then lip enough for then lip big up. But me have the big lip, natural big lip. Mm -mm. No, sir. You can imagine the damage in it. Come out of the bed. I'm tapping eyes, yeah. Imagine the damage in my lip. I can't do power on my house, Banya. Yeah. Achoo! My God. Mm. Them feel dry right now, though. Them feel dry, but then I look dry. Yeah. Mm -mm. Natural. No makeup. Just natural. Face full of bump, but natural. Mm -hmm. I mean, they wonder why me all of a sudden I get these bumps on my face at 30 years old. I mean, I understand it. Somebody can't talk to me about these bumps. Somebody can't talk to me about this, this, this acne at 34 year old. Somebody send me one, one, one bleaching cream there, please. Send me a bleachers there. So I can bleach out the bump. <laughs> what am I a top? Mighty God. It look like my light skin, but I'm not, baby. I'm not light skin. I'm very dark skin. Look there. From there, there's like me. I get pee acne from my face. So I make it, whatever. I never care. Whatever. Yeah, you know. It just go to my natural self. See me? Yeah, pee bump. And bump up on you, so. I pee bust me bust them, you know. You know where these people bump I come from in my, in my face, they my, my, my hate you. Bump! I tell you right now, come off my face. I need you. A husband, me need, me need this in my life right now. I need this in my life right now. Oh, can't take it. Chatters, love you guys. Great conversation we was having together today. I like having fun with you. Y'all know sometimes we talk our mess. You know, we always oh, talk the mess sometimes, you know. We talk mess, okay? But beyond that, I hope you get the idea of what we was truly saying. You understand, vice versa for both women and men. You understand, we have all been through some things. And we definitely have a, a, a little sinful thing about it because we are sinful by nature. We, 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 we want to revenge people and we want to do, and some of us have. Yes, but it's not the way that we should go. So I and I say, we can't talk the truth because truth is truth. But it's not the way for us to go. And I hope that, you know, as women, all of us that has been hurt and just been done wrong by maybe past relationships years ago or even recently if it was in a relationship and, it, and it, that person hurt you so bad and everything like that just know say you know now put that on the next partner deal with it before you up into another relationship just just please do because it does come like i want to stay in 
will linger if you don't deal with it. And I encourage the men, I encourage the men out there that when you meet a woman that has that has lived and has learned, like you have to know that she's been through some things, and you have to give her a little patience. Sometimes a woman will come off a little way, but she might be deep inside the woman for you, but you might not always able to see it in the first few months and all the time sometimes the woman is waiting to see if you're going to stay before she let the guard down sometimes she's the sweetest pie you would ever get but before you get to the pie part you have to get on get over the cross and you have to get past and like a crumble 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 what she had deal with in her life emotionally especially if she's a mother understand so just be mature in the steps you take in a relationships dating scene Sometimes we like to give up the front. Man like give up, give up them front. And things that are, that are going to make the relationship work. But I come to realize front giving is not a thing anymore like that in life. Because most of these people, when they're getting the fronts, the, 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 the front, the cocky business and the vagina business, it blinds you to the truth of that person. So you see, if I start grinding them all the time, and you have sex, they're going to make your kind of uh, see the truth. And me been there, me understanding something. When me look at him, I say, no man, you know, say, if you need the with the man there, you need the, 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 you know, the way you see my wicked. Because when you have the vagina in your face, and you have the, the, the penis, a jump up in your neck, you, 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 you can't see. Say the man is a beater. You might talk to your way, but you can't see because you say him have the hook and the crook. So it's when the hook and the crook over your son now, with you, 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 you kind of forget the things over your son. Because you take the hook, you know, so you, you say, well, the hook can hook, you know. I mean, like the hook, you know. So I mean, nah, worry about this over your son. And over your son, it's your need to actually worry about because in our reality, there's a lot of hooks and crooks out there in life. And if you get the wrong one, what we'll hook you? It's going to go hard to come out tight. Because we are woman. It's hard to come out tight when it's nice. Part the truth. It is hard. So sometimes it's best. We just not give them the, you understand? Give the thing yet. You have to just, me not ask if you buy pussy in a bag because nobody don't want to buy no pussy in a bag in our reality. But, you see, if you're truly is in God's way, you don't have to give up the pussy neither. You pray any, any man you're there with and you ask God about it. It's either you can deny it or say yes to it. And if you really feel like this man is for you, you take the steps to marry and do it God's way. And a stranger, you feel married. And a man, we ain't know you feel married. That's why somebody you need to marry your friend. And your friend have your back this whole time, you know. Yeah, you want to have your best interests at heart. Some of them love you. And you won't even look upon them. Marry somebody that is your friend that will have your back in spite of. Somebody you can trust with your heart and your vulnerability. Some of them when they get front, they never look on you. And they become your front and run, not and run like the river Nile. It's not that. So ladies, get off of the front talk. It's not the front that's the problem. It's not. It is people and their mentality that's the problem. The way how they deal with others. Not considering themselves. Chatters, it's your girl any and it is Chit Chat TV because of here we have the Hard Talk, Real Talk Conversations. If you're not um, following the page, please ensure to do so. Also on YouTube, please ensure to do so. Just was having a good time with y'all today. Y'all know we like to talk, but I'm about to get up out of here because I got stuff to do. Y'all know, I, my, I, when y'all see me come in this house and I'm alive, the only reason you used to be still alive because I'm alive. But usually I pop in for something and I'm gone again because my days are super busy and super long. A shout out to all my supporters in the, in the up the top right there. Everybody that commented today, um, I I um I love you. I appreciate you all so much, Miss Joan. I see you, um, and everybody that is a silent watcher. I appreciate you popping in, and listening to the good guy too. All right, you're always welcome to comment. And every comment, please keep it respectful. Doesn't matter what platform you're from. It doesn't matter if you was my enemy that you may think. I don't care if you show up. I give respect to all platforms when they come here, once it is within respect. Right? Because I don't go none of their yard and I, and I disrespect them. I don't disrespect people on here. You understand? So, once everybody exists in a place of respect, teachers have no problem. Why would they dog them? Why bark? When you come here, sit your tail down like a kitty cat and be humble 
That is all I ask for. Because if I come to your platform, I am humble. I don't come there and make fuss. I don't come there and disrespect. I don't come to your yard, open your door, and kick in your fridge and take out anything more and drink out there. I don't do that to anybody on here. So you see, because I don't do it, and I set an example, I expect that same respect. Now, all my true engineers have been rocking with me from day one, A1, we have one view and two view. I want you to know, I see you, I love you, and I appreciate you. I'm a nice, clean, big man, when I send call from the beginning of time till now. Wapi kill for now and come back and kill. You understand, Wapi? Uno, me send call. The lived, experienced woman. You're valuable to me. And sometimes I'm here to remind you that you're still valuable. You might not be a young chuck no more. Me not even me a young chuck. Come on now. They were talk, somehow we talk like a third bit. Because we live life. Don't think you're not valuable because you, you have been through and you've been through some things and people are trying to make you feel like Ray and Tate and blah, blah, blah. Me not care. You are valuable. And your experience, speaking of it, is valuable even at chit chat. Last thing. If you have a story to tell and you don't want it, but in secret... You can always email me at Chita TV Hard Talk Real Talk. If you want it to be shared on a platform, you can. Jane Doe, the characters. So no one has to know who you're speaking of. We don't mind telling your story for you. Put it in a letter form. Formalize it however you want. Or rather, if you want to share your testimony on the platform, you can always reach out to me. We do live interviews if you want to. All right? But of course, all things are within a certain boundary and respect. If you're coming here to call names, be very careful. Be very careful. But at the end of the day, your story is to be told. And your story is for you. And over here, nobody will disrespect you on my watch when you decide to come. Share what you've been through. If you have not seen any of our interviews yet, go at the top of my page and you see a couple pin interviews up there of what God has done for people. Me know it's a God still at work, but I will away. But I know even in this season, he's consistently working on the hearts of people. So if you have an issue of the heart, not, not for to tell God, God, I have issue in my heart. I don't forgive people. Don't hold it and pretend like you are right. Because you're not. You know, we are strong, but sometimes we need people. Just know that also when you share anything to me in your DM, don't come with drama from other platforms. Come to me with yourself. How do we curate an original relationship that is not seated in gossip? Keeping gossip out of it. Whatever you share with me would not be shared with anyone. Ask anybody that. Come I mean, I see nobody over here telling me in business, first of all. Second of all, there's no reason for me to share your tour to nobody. Come I mean, I remember them to tour they would not tell me no. Oh. Because I mean, I plan power no. I mean, I plan power no. And I don't have nobody on a, on a three-way call listening. You understand? Because people are shady like that. People are dangerous like that out here. I don't give that to my supporters. I'm not here to shame you. So if I make a mistake and shame you, then I don't, I'm not afraid to publicly say, I'm sorry. All right? That is who I am. I don't try to act this big shot, whatever the story is. And last thing to be from I saw Dana, um, I was sitting there, what, the pink, the pink of here. Oh my golly! What a beautiful event! Everybody is just so beautiful pink out i mean i said oh my god all these shades of pink i love me some pink shade baby boy 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 that shade of pink was glowing and flowing and glowing and flowing okay ain't nothing like some sisters coming together to empower each other all right shout out to the people then put that together that was very beautiful i liked how it looked at everybody looked at like they were pretty happy everybody looked like they were having really like a good time and stuff like that so shout out to the pink people all right we know you know a lot of people are acknowledging breast cancer month you know shout out to the families that are going through that you know shout out to the families that are also lost condolences to their family that they've lost through this and they continue to celebrate and acknowledge that you know there's a lot of people going through things don't forget that you're not the only one let's consider a neighbor at all costs and at all points i mean i know you're stressed but don't forget your neighbor is also you know somebody that might be stressed too so let's not treat each other like a dog let's try to consider each other each and every day sometimes people are on the edge and they're going to jump over and it's going to take one word for them to jump over don't be that person to push that person over the edge because you don't know what they've been through okay all right one last time it's your girl any kind of this chit chat tv because over here we have the hard talk real talk conversations have a great and a wonderful monday to you guys i love you guys so much please enter to follow my page on youtube tiktok everywhere we go and
banned. TikTok is about to be banned in America next year. Did y'all see that? Because you know they've been in the courts, baby. They've been in the courts about this TikTok thing. So, all I want on this big TikTok, you better pray. You better pray. Because I just see a little money come from. Yeah, so, I'm telling us to stop depending on these things. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. I'm say it a long time, you know. Stop depending on these things because they're going to kick with down. They're going to kick with out the whole away. They're going to come take from we. I'm telling you, look now, look now. They must fight out TikTok from a long time now because America don't make no money after TikTok now. So they won't make the money so they can go sue TikTok company. Hey, Lord of his mercy. So please, pay attention to the news. Bless yourself, Miss Scott. All right? Watch the news and see what I go on. Because I don't make no money after TikTok, you know. I'm going to tell you what. I tell you, me like TikTok. I like what TikTok. You must sit me can learn from TikTok. You must sit in me get from TikTok. Eh? So right now, may I tell you, if you come, if you come block out TikTok, now right, brother. That not right, but I'm not even a real TikToker. On a, on a, on a Lego TikTok, no man. Big dirty America. And I'm a cousin, you know. We're going to, eh, well, we go, we go for Sir Rosalie then, but them are Jamaica. Them are Jamaica, and Jamaica accept anything, so we're not worried about the Jamaica, eh? <laughs> but I'm only putting them in America with them big money of a TikToker. I mean, I don't want to see nobody get their money snatch away from them and thing. You know, sometimes I call Ivan and them, and they make the money them also. But they want to know for them banter people anyway. So, you know, God, if God, you take some link in city from we can we do enough somehow. Yeah, I just saw it go. All right, me on the WeChat. Later here. Love you guys.